And this growth, this exponential growth, I want to take just a couple minutes and depart and talk about exponential growth because this is a very important concept. This is the kind of growth we're surrounded by. And exponential growth looks like this. It looks like a hockey stick chart, right? It starts out slow and then shoots up all, all of a sudden. So I want to explain this because as humans, we don't understand exponential growth intuitively. We don't really get it. It's really hard for us to understand. Linear growth we get easily. So here's an example. If I gave you two erasers and I said I'm going to score you on how well you're able to bring these together at a uniform rate, you'll do really well, just like everybody. But if I replace these erasers with two very strong magnets, you'll do what everybody does and you'll be really good up to about here and then, oh, I'll give you a hundred times to figure that out and your brain can't wire it up. It's just going to be really, really hard to do because we're not wired for exponential growth. It's something you have to study to understand. And so here's a quick way I, I found to explain this and talk about it. Um, so imagine for the moment that I have a magic eyedropper, and it's magic because when I put this drop of water out into your hand, it's going to double every minute. So we wait one minute and we have two drops of water in our hand, and then another minute and we've got four drops. And after six minutes, we can fill a thimble up. Do you have a sense of that growth? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to this stadium, and, um, and, and we're going to do a little thought experiment. And since it's my experiment, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start at 12 o'clock tomorrow, and I'm going to handcuff each of you to the highest row of bleacher seats. And I'm going to make the park watertight. At 12 o'clock, I go down into the center of the pitch, and I put one of these water drops down there. And the question is this. Starting at 12 o'clock tomorrow, put a magic drop out. It doubles every minute. How long do you have to escape from your handcuffs? So just think of an answer. And who, whoever hasn't seen this example before, shout out an answer. Who's got something for me? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Well, that's pretty aggressive, all right. Because six, six minutes gives us a thimble, so that's a, it's a big thimble um, for that next minute. Four hours, one hour, and everybody else has some sort of an idea in their head. The answer is you have 50 minutes to escape from your handcuffs. 50 minutes. And I see some skeptics out there. So perhaps I've underestimated the size, the volume of that park by 100%. Okay? You get an extra minute. So think 1251 if that helps you. Okay? <laughs> that makes you feel better. That's not the important question. This is the important question. At what time is this stadium still 97% empty space? And how many people realize the seriousness of the predicament? Five minutes before, it is still 97% empty space. 